Saint Severus the Great of Antioch Greek, Severos classical Syriac, Swerzdentyki also known as Severus of Gaza, was the Patriarch of Antioch, and head of the Syriac Orthodox Church, from 512 until his death in 538. He is venerated as a saint in the Oriental Orthodox Church, and his feast day is 8 February. Biography <inaudible> 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 Early life and education Severus was born in the city of Sozopolis in Pisidia in c. 459, or c. 465, into an affluent Christian family, however, later Monophysite sources would assert that his parents were pagan. His father was a senator in the city, and his paternal grandfather, also named Severus, was the bishop of Sozopolis and had attended the Council of Ephesus in 431. According to Severus, hagiography, he was named after his paternal grandfather as he had received a vision in which he was told, the child who is for your son will strengthen orthodoxy, and his name will be after your name, after his father. S. Death. In 485, Severus travelled to Alexandria in Egypt to study grammar, rhetoric, and philosophy, in both Greek and Latin. At Alexandria, he met Zacharias of Mytilene, a fellow student and friend, who persuaded him to read the works of St. Gregory of Nazianus, and St. Basil of Caesarea, in particular his correspondence with Libanius. According to Zacharias, whilst students at Alexandria, he and Severus discovered and destroyed a horde of pagan idols at the neighboring city of Minothus. In the autumn of 486, Severus traveled to Berytus in Phoenicia and studied law and philosophy at the law school, where he was later joined by Zacharias in 487. At Berytus, Severus and Zacharias led the expulsion of necromancers and enchanters from the city, and Severus began to dedicate his free time to studying the works of the fathers of the church. At this time, he joined a group of students led by a certain Evagrius who prayed together at the Church of the Resurrection every evening. Severus was convinced to be baptized, as he had not yet undergone baptism due to Pisidian custom in which men could not be baptized until they had grown a beard. In 488, he was baptized at the Church of St. Leontius at Tripolis with Evagrius as his sponsor. <laughs> Monkhood Topic. Severus subsequently adopted an ascetic life whereby he rejected bathing and adopted fasting. He initially intended to return to Pisidia and practice law, however, after a pilgrimage to the Church of St. Leontius in Tripolis, the head of St. John the Baptist at Emesa, and Jerusalem, he resolved to join Evagrius and become a monk. Severus entered the monastery of Peter the Iberian near Mayuma in Palestine, a prominent center of non Chalcedonianism, and remained there for several years. He later joined a monastic brotherhood in the desert near Eleutheropolis under the Archimandrite Mamas. Severus practiced asceticism in the desert until c. 500, at which time he became ill and was convinced to recover at the monastery of St. Romanus in Mayuma, where he was ordained a priest by Epiphanius, bishop of Magidus. At Mayuma, Severus received his inheritance from his parents, with which he shared the property with his brothers, donated most of his share to the poor, and constructed a monastery. On a walk outside the city, Severus came upon a hermit who left his cave to call out, Welcome to you, Severus, teacher of Orthodoxy, and patriarch of Antioch. Despite never meeting the saint, the hermit thus prophesied Severus' ascension to the patriarchal throne. He remained at his monastery until 507-508, at which time Nephalius, a Chalcedonian monk, arrived at Mayuma and preached against Severus and other non-Chalcedonians. In 508, Nephalius wrote an apologia of the Council of Chalcedon, to which Severus replied in his two orationes ad Nephalium. In the same year, Patriarch Elias of Jerusalem commissioned Nephalius to expel non-Chalcedonian monks from their monasteries in Palestine, and Severus was sent to Constantinople to complain to Emperor Anastasius. Severus traveled to Constantinople alongside 200 non-Chalcedonian monks, and gained favor with the emperor soon after his arrival. Patriarch Macedonius II of Constantinople attempted to sway Anastasius to support the Council of Chalcedon and presented the emperor with a collection of edited excerpts from the works of St. Cyril of Alexandria, an important father of the church who had died prior to the council. Severus, however, wrote Philoleths, and refuted Macedonius as the work of St. Cyril presented to the emperor was shown to be taken out of context. 
At Constantinople, Severus became friends with Julian, bishop of Halicarnassus. Under Severus' influence, in 510, Anastasius allowed non Chalcedonians to retake their monasteries, and, in 510 511, the emperor issued a typos edict that adopted the non Chalcedonian interpretation of the Henoticon as law. After Macedonius's deposition and his succession by Timothy I, a non Chalcedonian, in August 511, Severus returned to his monastery in Palestine. Topic. Patriarch of Antioch Topic. In 512, Flavian II, Patriarch of Antioch, was deposed by Anastasius, and a synod was held at Laodicea in Syria to elect a successor. Severus was elected on 6 November and consecrated at the Great Church of Antioch on 16 November. The consecration ceremony was attended by the bishops Dionysus of Tarsus, Nicias of Laodicea, Philoxenus of Hierapolis, Peter of Baroea, Simeon of Chalchi, Marian of Sura, Eusebius of Gabula, Silvanus of Eurema, Sergius of Cyrus, John of Europus, Philoxenus of Dolish, and Eulinus of Salamias. During the consecration ceremony, he affirmed the councils of Nicaea, Constantinople, and Ephesus, and the Henoticon. Despite orders from Anastasius to not act or speak against the Council of Chalcedon, Severus condemned the Council, as well as Pope Leo's tome, Nestorius, Eutyches, Diodorus of Tarsus, Theodore of Mopsuestia, Ibas of Edessa, Barsama, and Cyrus and John of Agai. However, Severus could not be heard due to shouting and commotion, and he signed a declaration of faith at the ceremony. S. Conclusion, upon his consecration, Severus had the baths at the Patriarchal Palace destroyed and the cooks sent away, in keeping with his abstinence from bathing and eating. He was accepted as Patriarch of Antioch by Patriarch Timothy of Constantinople and Pope John of Alexandria, but Patriarch Elias of Jerusalem and other bishops refused to acknowledge him. Couriers taking synodical letters from Severus to Jerusalem were expelled from the city by St. Sabas and a crowd congregated at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and chanted, Anathema to Severus and his fellow communicants. Within Syria, Severus was popular amongst the population of the province of Syria Prima, which had largely adopted non-Chalcedonianism, whereas the province of Syria Secunda, which was home to a large Greek population who favored Chalcedonianism, was hostile towards Severus. A synod was held at Tyre in Phoenicia in c. 514, at which the Council of Chalcedon and Leo's Tome was denounced, and Severus declared that the Henoticon had annulled the acts of the Council of Chalcedon. Severus began to exchange letters with Sergius the Grammarian at this time as Sergius had written to Antoninus, bishop of Aleppo, who had asked the saint to respond. Sergius argued that the Synod of Tyre had made serious concessions to Chalcedonians, to which Severus responded with a treatise against Sergius. As patriarch, Severus and Peter, archbishop of Apamea, were alleged to have hired Jewish mercenaries to kill 250 Chalcedonian pilgrims and leave their bodies unburied by the roadside. Chalcedonians also claimed that the monasteries that the pilgrims had fled to were set alight and the monks that had protected them were also killed. Between 514 and 518, John of Caesarea wrote an apologia of the Council of Chalcedon in response to Severus Philolevs. Severus wrote a treatise in defense of Philolevs, and began work on a reply to John of Caesarea. <laughs> Exile and death Topic. Following Anastasius' death and his succession by Emperor Justin I in July 518, the bishops of Syria Secunda travelled to Constantinople and clamoured for Severus' deposition. Justin demanded Severus affirmed the Council of Chalcedon, to which the saint refused, and the emperor subsequently ordered Irenaeus, Count of the East, to arrest Severus and cut out his tongue. Saint Theodora, wife of Justinian, Justin nephew and heir, discovered Justin's orders and warned Severus. On 25 September 518, the saint fled Antioch by boat to Alexandria, where he was well received by Pope Timothy III of Alexandria and the city's inhabitants. Severus' arrival in Egypt is celebrated by the Coptic Orthodox Church on 12 October. 
Despite his deposition, Severus did not cease to be seen as the legitimate patriarch of Antioch by non Chalcedonians. During his exile in Egypt, Severus resided at the monastery of Anation with Pope Timothy, and is known to have performed a number of miracles. He completed his three volume book, Liber Contra Impium Grammaticum, against John of Caesarea in c. 519. In his exile, Julian of Halicarnassus also took up residence at the monastery of Anation and exchanged letters with Severus on the topic of the body of Christ. Whereas Julian had adopted Aphthardidocetism, which argued that the body of Christ was incorruptible, Severus argued that the body of Christ was corruptible. He wrote five treatises against Julian, who responded in peri Aphtharches and an Apologia. The non Chalcedonian community was quickly divided between Severians, followers of Severus, and Aphthardidocete, and divisions remained unresolved until 527. Emperor Justinian, who succeeded his uncle Justin in 527, held a three day synod at the Palace of Hormistas in the spring of 532 at Constantinople to restore unity to the Church through dialogue between five Chalcedonians and five or more non Chalcedonians. The emperor invited Severus and promised immunity, however, he chose not to attend on the grounds of age and as he was accused of corruption and bribery, which he vehemently denied. At the invitation of Justinian, in the winter of 534-535, Severus travelled to Constantinople alongside Peter of Apamea and the monk Zoras. At this time, Anthemus, Archbishop of Trebizond, was consecrated Patriarch of Constantinople and refused to affirm the Council of Chalcedon. Severus successfully convinced Anthemus to adopt a position in line with himself and Pope Theodosius I of Alexandria. Severus' fortunes were quickly overturned as Pope Agapetus I of Rome arrived at Constantinople in March 536. Agapetus swayed Justinian to adopt a firm Chalcedonian position and Anthemus was replaced by Menas. Menas held a synod from 2 May to 4 June, at the conclusion of which Severus, Anthemus, Peter of Apamea, and Zoras were excommunicated. On 6 August 536, Justinian issued an edict that charged Severus, Anthemus, Peter, and Zoras with Nestorianism and Eutychianism, banned Severus' books, and banished them from the capital and all major cities. Severus fled Constantinople with the aid of Empress Theodora and returned to Egypt. He resided at the residence of Dorotheus in the city of Sakka until his death on 5 February 538. Dorotheus had Severus' body moved to the Zogag Monastery, and the relocation of the saint's body is celebrated on 19 December. Topic references topic topic Bibliography topic Allen, Pauline, Hayward, C.T.R. Severus of Antioch. Routledge. Arthur, Rosemary A. Pseudo-Dionysus as Polemicist, The Development and Purpose of the Angelic Hierarchy in Sixth-Century Syria. Ashgate Publishing. Bacchus, Francis Joseph 1913. Menas. The Catholic Encyclopedia, 10. Barsome, Ignatius Afrem 2003. The Scattered Pearls, A History of Syriac Literature and Sciences, Trans. Mahdi Musa, 2nd Rev. Ed. Gorgeous Press. Chapman, John 1911. Monophysites and Monophysitism. The Catholic Encyclopedia. Robert Appleton Company. Constantelos, Demetrios J. 1987. Julian of Halicarnassus. Encyclopedia of Religion. Thomson Gale. Evans, J. A. S. 2000. The Age of Justinian, The Circumstances of Imperial Power. Routledge. Gregory, Timothy E. Severos. The Oxford Dictionary of Byzantium. Oxford University Press. Hongeman, Ernest The Patriarchate of Antioch, A Revision of Le Kien and the Notitia Antiochina. Traditio, Volume 5. Cambridge University Press. JSTOR 27830138. Horn, Cornelia B. 2006. Asceticism and Christological Controversy in 5th Century Palestine, The Career of Peter the Iberian. Oxford University Press. Kasdan, Alexander. 1991. John of Caesarea. The Oxford Dictionary of Byzantium. Oxford University Press. Nezevich, Linda. 1991. Severus of Antioch. The Coptic Encyclopedia. Macmillan Publishers, 7. Menz, Volker, 2012. Severus of Antioch. The Encyclopedia of Ancient History. John Wiley and Sons. Mayendorf, John, 1989. Imperial Unity and Christian Divisions, The Church 450-680 AD. The Church in History. 2. 
Crestwood, N.Y.: Saint Vladimir's Seminary Press. Roche, P. 2003. Peter of Apamea. New Catholic Encyclopedia. The Gale Group Inc. Torrance, Ian. 1998. Christology after Chalcedon: Severus of Antioch and Sergius the Monophysite. WIPF and Stock Publishers. Venables, Edmund. 1911A. Severus, Patriarch of Antioch. A Dictionary of Christian Biography and Literature to the End of the 6th Century AD, with an account of the principal sects and heresies. Venables, Edmund 1911b. Petrus, B.P., of Apamea. A Dictionary of Christian Biography and Literature to the End of the 6th Century AD, with an account of the principal sects and heresies. Witikowski, Witold Severus of Antioch in Ethiopian Tradition. Studia Ethiopica. Harisovitz Verlag. Yusuf, Johanna Nessim Severus of Antioch. Wiley Blackwell Companion to Patristics. John Wiley and Sons. Zissus, Theodore Severus of Antioch, Trans. Philip M. McGee. Encyclopedia of Religion. Thomson Gale. 